Hey, good morning, Ray J Nation. Jay here, and uh, today we're back at my house. We are going to do another honey slash daddy do project. And the reason I say that is this is something that Stephanie and I actually have both been wanting to do on the house uh, since we moved in. And I will say, uh, we bought this house about three years ago, and my wife said, it's perfect, it's moving ready. And it seems like all I've been doing is projects ever since it started. <laughs> so uh, take that with a grain of salt. People that are buying new homes with their wives. Let's go look at what we're gonna do today. So this is our front porch. And uh, you can see we have vinyl siding on our home, which that's not going to change um, it's just that's too big of a project to take on but what we can change is this it has this plastic soffit up underneath the deck here and we hate it we have a tv out here where we sit and watch games and movies you know sit and have a nice cold beer i mean soda you know after work so it's such a great area but then you look up and you see this crap so we are going to get rid of this all this stuff down the whole deck and put up something new. So this is LP Smart Side Cedar Textured Panels 4x8. And those of you that watch an Anahela retreat, you'll notice that we put this under the deck there. And I thought it looked so good that I was like, you know what? I want that. So I got some of this and I'm going to put this up underneath the deck here. Uh, these 4x8 sheets, LP Smart Side. First thing I need to do is I need to get up there on the deck and I need to clean off the deck, get everything out of my way and rip off all that old soffit and get it prepped so that I can put the smart side up probably tomorrow. You can see I'm kind of a bull in a china shop when it comes to ripping stuff down. So now I have all this crap in my front yard, but you know who this would be a perfect job for? Martha! Dude, this is by far the hardest working mother-in-law you've ever met in your whole entire life. She helps me so much, and here she is picking up all my crap now. I owe you one. I got this section ripped down, and the first thing I'm seeing is that it looks like they have one by all on the rafters, and then they have the actual siding nailed to the one by. Huh. So I did just talk to Eric. Uh, Jamie didn't answer his phone, so I just like talked to Eric, which I guess is just as good. So I think I'm just gonna put the plywood right onto these one buys. So I just gotta go ahead and get some screws out. I gotta tighten up some spots like there that the one buys are flopping. I'm gonna put some scabs in there and just make sure the one buy is tight everywhere and uh, we'll be ready to put this stuff up. I should probably just get a gun and shoot it, but um, I'm lazy and I don't feel like it. And I'm just gonna use screws. And because we don't pay for these screws, we steal them from the Perkins. Um, I figure it's not a big deal. I think I'd rather be painting. Well, I don't know about that, but it does need a fresh coat of paint, but I am not doing that. So another problem I'm running into is that when they put this up, they didn't take home all the nails just because of the angle there and because they were lazy, they didn't bother trying to get anything to put them in with. So I'm going to go out to the garage and see if I can find a big punch of some sort that I can uh, drive those in a little bit better. Wow. Look at that thing. Wear safety goggles. So I got all of it prepped pretty much. I got all the nails out, all the screws out. I got all of it scabbed together. It's looking pretty good. Um, so one thing I was thinking of is that this would be the time if my wife would like to add any more lighting. If she wants to add more lights, I could probably throw one in down there. It looks like they even have blocking for it. And another one down there. So I'll have to get with her and find out what she wants to do with that. So anytime we're having lunch or dinner and people are outside, like the dogs are outside right now, I'm going to just go ahead and tell them, lunchtime! Let's go see if Martha made me any lunch. Alrighty, lunchtime. Yo, Martha! Hey, did you make me any lunch? What do you mean? I thought I was a big YouTube star, but <laughs> I guess she doesn't think so. I guess I'm making my own lunch. I'm gonna grab my uh, father-in-law to help me. I just wanna measure this deck like I talked about and make sure that I don't have a sliver on one side or the other. Okay, so we pulled numbers all the way from the back. There's my father-in-law, Bob. 
Yeah, hello. Um, so we pull numbers all the way from the back. So my 12 foot is here, which means I have about a foot and a half left. So that means I'm gonna do full sheets from that end. I don't care. I like it to look nice down there. Down here at this end, no one's ever gonna notice it or see it. So I'll do full sheets from down there working this way. And then I'll just put it like a foot um, section on the end. And I think that'll be sufficient. What do you think, Bob? Yeah? Hey, I'm in, man. Count me in. So I got Martha on the camera. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to put this stuff up. And as you guys can see that these stupid bolts are going to be in my way. So if I have a sheet up like that, there's no way I'm going to get a piece of trim in there. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do is I'm going to just bang it tight to this wall like that. And then I'm just going to run a bead of caulk there. And I think that'll be sufficient. And then on this side, so on this side where the siding's at, you can see there's a little channel in there. So what I can do is I can just set that off maybe a half or three quarters. And I think that'll still look good. And that will give me enough room to, you know, wiggle it in there and still jam it tight over there. So I'll jam it tight, nail it, leave this off about a half or three quarters, nail it. And I think that'll look great. I got all this old crap loaded up in the truck. Yes, for those of you that have noticed or haven't noticed, I did finally break down and I bought a new truck uh, for hauling, pulling the trailer, boat, and things like that. So it's nice to have. So I'm gonna take this over, dump it. I'm actually gotta go meet Jamie. And uh, I'm gonna help Jamie move some uh, furniture. And then we're actually gonna go by his dad's house. Say he dropped a few trees. So it's No Shave November. Uh, which is for uh, men's prostate cancer, I believe. So this is the only time that my wife will actually let me grow any type of mustache like this. And she can't complain because it's for a good cause. So that's why I'm doing it. For those of you that want to get and jump on the bandwagon, again, it's No Shave November for men's prostate cancer. Uh, it's supposed to be, I think, just the mustache, but I'm going to rock a little handlebar uh, this November. All right, Ray J Nation, here we are. It's Saturday morning and we're back. It's a little gloomy so we had to wait actually till about 10 o'clock to even get enough light so that we could film but we're back out on the patio today and uh i got my lovely assistant and my lovely wife uh stephanie on the camera today and of course we got martha helping out today she's our muscle <laughs> we're gonna use her as our muscle today so we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna put this paneling up what are you union or what what are we doing my toes are numb come on it's like 60 outside it is it's in the 30s. Addison, you hear that? Mom said, it's in the 30s. Somebody's hiding over here. Hey, look, it's no, Ryan. Hi, babe. Yeah. <laughs> Addison, oh, baby. Let's go, man. We got all day. Let's go. <laughs> so, guys, yesterday we talked about what we were going to do here. Because remember, I have to get the panel over those bolts and then up here. So, I think yesterday we talked about putting this all the way in there and leaving it like that. But that's not going to work because I'll never get it up under those bolts. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put this piece just short of that channel, which will give me enough room to get it over the bolts and up here. And then what we'll do is we'll just take a piece of trim and we'll just stick it like that. So baby, you think that looks all right? Yeah. Okay. So it'll just look like that. It'll be way easier to get in and uh, we'll just put a piece of trim there and we'll be done with it. So I got the TL rolling. It's a TL. Oh my gosh, you are so new. Um, TL stands for time lapse. Oh. So we're gonna time lapse this thing and only newbies stand in front of the TL. <laughs> I always stand in front of the TL. You're gonna be on that ladder there and I'm gonna be on this ladder over here, okay? I'm gonna cut the sheet and I'm gonna put the sheet up on top of that ladder and I'm gonna get on this ladder. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to push the sheet up onto those bolts. I'm going to push the sheet up tight here and I'm gonna shoot it, all right? All we're looking for is that piece to be super tight up against that beam. We're gonna assume that that beam is somewhat straight and we're just gonna bang a gong that piece tight to that beam and then shoot it. And I'm just gonna cock it against the beam there and then just put a trim piece here. Got it? Yep. Got our first piece up. We do. I think it looks pretty awesome, yeah. what do you think? Yeah. That wasn't too bad, right? No. All right, so we just got like 16 more to go. <laughs> um, as you can see in something that Stephanie pointed out, so this truss right here obviously has a little bit of wank to it, so I'm going to have to put a nailer 
um, there, but which is no big deal. But the biggest thing I want to make sure is that this line here all lines up so that when I put my batten on there, it looks good. Four pieces up. Looking good. Yeah, it is. And the beauty of this stuff is that, see, our gaps are not all perfect at all. But the beauty of this stuff is that when you put the batten on, it covers any of those imperfections. So when you're doing a house like this, that's not square and nothing's really straight or level, um, it's almost impossible to get these things perfect. So it's nice because you can have some gaps here and there, but it's all going to get covered up by the batten. So is it time for a break? What? No, it's like 10 o'clock. It ain't no time for a break. You don't get a break till lunchtime, maybe. <laughs> Pretty cool, we actually have the uh, Great Smoky Mountain Railroad that comes right by our house. And when we bought the house, we were like, man, that's gonna suck having this train come by. But now, it's actually more of a novelty than anything. We actually go out on the front porch and blow the horn and wave to all the tourists. There they are. Wave to all the tourists as they come by. It's kind of a novelty type thing. It's actually pretty cool. And um, they actually do a Polar Express this year. We're the second largest Polar Express in the world, only second to the uh, to the railroad in the uh, Grand Canyon. Pretty cool. You know what your mom just said? What? She said if you're cold, that means you're not working hard enough. I'm ready to shed. I've already shed my jacket. See, working hard, sweating, <laughs> cold. <laughs> But you are by far the best looking assistant I've ever had. Thank you. Okay, can we, let's get to work. Yeah. What are you doing standing around? Come I'm on. filming. Uh -huh. okay. Hey, quiet on the set. Are you gonna cut a round hole for that? Uh, yes, I am. <laughs> Found some yams in the uh, cupboard there. Four inches. Look at that, baby! Real man of genius. Take a break, have some lunch? Yeah. All right, that's cool. I'll sit by the fire and you make lunch. What? <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a good plan to me, no? What? Fine, you sit by the fire and I'll make lunch. <laughs> See, that? this is my life. See? Make lunch, guy. <laughs> sit by the fire, lady. Perfect. Yeah, that's all right. So I'm not going to give you too much crap because you're new at this, but I would like for you to turn around for a second. <laughs> That's called a time-lapse camera. So it's been time-lapsing the back of your head for like five minutes. <laughs> Good job, champ. We're halfway done. What? <laughs> well, we got all this up and it looks bang a gong. The problem is, is that we have all these gaps that now we have to fill with the batten boards. So we need to rip a bunch of material to run all along there. And then each one of these, boom, 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 boom. I'll need material in it. Let's get to ripping. Fantastic job. Hey. Now you can see what I do every day. <laughs> no, I do not. That's brain power. See, I don't have to think. I just work. It's way easier. All right, let's let's uh, let's get cleaned up, and then we'll do a little after shot. And then we'll have a nice cold soda. <laughs> so it looks like my helpers are already done. So uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and join them. So hey, 
Thanks for nailing and climbing up ladders with us today. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.